thought today I'd film a really quick getting ready video and before I started I wanted to just show you some um, brushes that I received yesterday. Um, they were received for a review but either way I would have bought them to try them so just thought I'd get that out there. They are Shannon's brushes. Shannon XO she brought out her own line of brushes. They're called XO Beauty and they are launching today. When I'm putting this video up the brush line is not up but I believe they got 4 o'clock so I will leave a link down below to the Facebook page and once the website is up I'll leave a link down below to the website so she sent me two uh, sets for review she sent me the four piece synthetic kabuki I'm not too sure what it's called but it's basically you'll see it on the website the kabuki, the kabuki one and these individually I believe are 26 and this is New Zealand prices so they're really really affordable they're way cheaper than Artiste and those brushes aren't that great um, the only one that I use is a stippling brush but all the other ones aren't too good, but yes, yeah, so these are the Exo Beauty brushes, and these are, yeah, the four piece synthetic one. They're 26 or they're 80 for the set, and you get the flat top, which I use for foundation today. I love it. Just as good, if not better, than Sigma. Way softer than Sigma. Like, it's literally softer than petting a kitten, and nothing is better than that. Um, round top kabuki, angled kabuki, and a pointed kabuki. Really, really excited because I haven't tried half of these brushes before. And then you've got the little um, logo right there. This is the nine piece synthetic brush kit. And you've got four kind of bigger face brushes and you've got five eye brushes. So you've got a powder brush. It's also got the name of the brush down the bottom. A blush brush, kind of like an angled brush. A pointed foundation brush, which I'm going to use at some point. I don't normally gravitate towards them, but I'm going to try it. They've also got a fan brush. It's actually four eye brushes and one lip brush. So you've got a really big blending brush, like if you guys can see, it's massive. I've got this one, which I'm probably most excited about out of this kit, and that is the just called the eyeshadow brush, an eyeliner brush, a lip brush, which are both very very similar. The lip brush is just slightly fatter. And then you've got an eye sh eye liner brush, which is actually you know still got the black and white, but I just used it in my brows. So I'm gonna just talk about some other things now that I've introduced these brushes. I really do like them so far, but I'll be doing a full review in about a week or two, week and a half. Um. But my point is that I am um, really excited because I finally have everything ready for my giveaway. I've been planning this giveaway for like forever in a day. Why is that there? Seriously, like ages I've been planning to do this giveaway. Since before Christmas, uh, probably about November. And I've just been really slack. Um, I've been not rich enough to buy the stuff. And I've also... Um, been buying other things, concentrating on buying other things. But because I'm nearing 3,000, I thought now would be the perfect time to hold it. So once I hit 3,000, I will hold this giveaway. Really, really excited. I've done three different prizes. I'm just using this dark um, bronze color all over my lid. I'm just using this brush. I don't know if this really works to use it for, but you know, whatever. I'm making up my own wrist today. Uh, I'm kind of doing like a really deep bronze smoky eye. I'm going to go ahead and use a big blending brush. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to try blend it up. I've got no product on it. Yeah, I, this is really good at blending. Let's try put a little bit of product into it. I don't know if it's too big. Yeah, this is my new kind of like blending out brush. Maybe not my new just like blending brush, but like blending out. Take a little bit of the outer corner colour. Um, I'm just going to kind of put this into the crease. It's so weird using a brush like this. I've never used one before. But it's, I'm kind of applying it really nicely. Like it's not too dense of a brush, which I think is a good thing. Some people might disagree, but for like eyeshadow, I think that like, it's kind of better for it to be. Like it is dense, but it's not overly dense, so you'll get like a blob of colour and then you'll never be able to blend it out, which has happened to me before. I'm just going to go with my big blending brush. Oh, I think this is my new best friend. I suck at applying eyeshadow. Like, you guys might disagree, but like... I over-apply almost every single time that I get ready and it's just the biggest out there and blah blah blah. So... Alright, so now that I've got that, I'm actually going to be using the eyeliner brush today to go underneath my lash line and see how that works, because that's what I wanted to use this for. So, take a little bit of the crease colour on the brush. This is really, really stiff. And I'm just going to... It is a bit small to be doing this, because it's obviously designated for, like, gel eyeliner, but it's working well. Cool, so now I'm going to go ahead... What other brushes can I use? Ooh! Uh, I'm going to leave the mascara for a second, because I just want to try out the rest of these brushes and I don't like doing mascara on camera so I'm going to go ahead and use 
my angled contour brush and I'm going to attempt to use some bronzer today so get excited guys because I don't know bronzer is just not my forte like I suck at putting on bronzer but now that I have a brush that I've seen so many gurus use for it I'm going to try so I've got my bourgeois chocolate bronzer in the Claire 52 I don't know if there's multiple colours but it's my colour so it's oh now that I look at this it looks really really orange oh well yellow I feel like I'm going really orange. Like it doesn't look orange on other people, I think I'm just too white to be able to do anything on my face. Like it just looks straight up orange, just because I'm like the pastiest person alive. Like I'm just so extensively light, which is really, really annoying. Okay, so it's not looking too, too bad. But this brush is like helping a lot, like it's really blending it out while still leaving a little bit of colour there, so. I don't know. I didn't actually want to do bronzer, but I just wanted to try this um, brush out, so. It passed the test. It managed to save my face from looking like a bronze disaster. It's just giving me a little bit of a glow, so. It's okay. It's done what I wanted it to do. Alrighty, so now I'm going to try out the blush brush. This one is, I think, the softest brush. This is like, who needs a kitten when you've got these brushes? Like, you do not even need a kitten. I would say throw away your kitten, but don't do that, because... If you're going to do that, I'll have it, because I like kittens. Okay, so I'm going to be using my next blush in Angel, because I just want kind of like a light cheek, because my eyes are quite dark. Uni starts next week, so get excited for me, guys. I'm really not excited, so... I don't normally use blush brushes like this. I normally use um, my stippling brush. There's something that I'd love to see in this range, like a stippling brush, like the duo fiber stippling brush. Especially the one that's kind of like rounded like a blush brush. I always want to try those. So I think Shannon's my new output for brushes. These are really nice. I'm very, very happy with them. And they didn't shed at all because, as I said, I already washed them. There was no shedding. Maybe like one hair out of like, or two hairs out of all of the brushes, which I wouldn't even consider shedding. Considering the fact that it was like the first wash, surely some stuff should have out. So it was really, really good. They're really, really well made. Um, high quality. I'm probably going to put some nail polish over top of the logo. Because I hate it when it comes off. So my blush doesn't look too bad today. It's pretty... that, bl that blush brush was really nice. I don't know how it'll feel with a darker blush. But I didn't want to like overpower my eyes, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to go ahead and whack on some mascara. Then I'll come back. I'm using the Maybelline uh, cat eyes. I'm really not a fan of my lashes, but one thing that I'm so grateful for is the fact that they are really, really curly. Like, I remember when I did a make YouTube videos and I was the first kind of doing makeup, I was like, I need a lash killer because all the YouTube girls say that I need a lash killer. So I went out and bought one and my eyelashes just looked ridiculous and I was like, why? And then it was only when I started doing YouTube videos that I realised that my lashes, I don't, you guys can't see, are actually really curly naturally. Like, that's the one thing I have going for them. They're short and stumpy. Um, and they're kind of growing and, you know, they're not evenly growing out of my eyeballs, but they are very curly, so kind of makes my life a lot easier. So, I mean, with the power of mascara, I can make them look fairly good, so that's alright, as long as they look acceptably, you know, there. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my favourite pencil liner, which I don't know where it is. Uh, oh, it's in here. My Rebel on Calistay. I've tried a couple other ones. I've tried the Maybelline Masterline or Master, what's that what's called? Yeah, the Master Liner. Um, not the one that's like, ah, uh, and a pen for I never tried that. But I've tried the um, pencil one and I really didn't like that. It was um, not very pigmented. I found that it was quite, you need to, to draw it a lot and I really don't like doing that because I find it really irritating to my eye. But this one, like I go over once or twice and it's really really black which I like a lot so I don't know what I want to do for lips today because I really really want to use the lip brush is that weird? I'm trying to use all these brushes because I really want to you know get on the road to testing them all out alright so that's the eyes done oh so I get really itchy eyes after I do that I read will be way too dark let's just, let's just get that out there alright so I'm going to go ahead and apply my baby pink Lipstick, I normally apply it with my straight from the tube, but I'm going to use a lip brush today because I can. So, um, this is the lip brush from Exo Beauty. I'm just going to pick some of this brush up. This brush up, yeah, some of this lipstick up. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. 
I've never um, really used a lip brush. I'm really, really bad. Like, even if I'm using a bright red, I'd sooner get it all over my face before using a lip brush, so. It's really stiff, which I like. Like, my other lip brushes I've found have been really, really, like, flimsy and kind of flop around. Whereas this one's, like, really very stiff, so it's going to help to, you know, help to apply it really accurately. So it's not going to, like, bend and then go all over your face. I think the long brush handle is good too because if you like having like a, I know some people actually hold the brush at the end so that it's really really light but I like to hold it very close but, and it also just gives you a lot more options for storage in my opinion. Um, yeah that's everything. The only thing that I have to say about these brushes um, is that I wish there was more of them. I have nothing bad to say so far. I will get back to you guys as I said I'm going to be doing a full review but as of now I'm really really happy with everything and how they've been going and I'm excited to try them out more. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions. Um, leave them down below and request and all that and I'll be happy to help you with those. Um, and do check the down bar for the links for these brushes. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.